Outlook 2007 offers me a variety of ways to share my calendar information with nearly anyone. When I go to my Outlook calendar, the navigation pane offers me three quick ways to share my calendar. Through my organization's Exchange server, by email, or by publishing my calendar information on Microsoft Office Online. Because my company uses Exchange Server for our email and calendaring, that's always my best option for sharing my calendar within the company. When I click Share My Calendar, the window that appears is very similar to an email message, but with a few added options. I'm going to be closely working with Nate on a six-month project, and I want him to be able to see my calendar. In the To box, I add his name. The subject box is already filled in, but I could change this if I wanted. The Allow Recipient to View Your Calendar checkbox sets the permissions on my calendar so Nate can see my calendar. I want to see Nate's calendar as well. I'll select the Request Permission to View Recipient's Calendar checkbox. When Nate receives this message, he'll know I want access to his calendar and can easily grant the request right from the message. I can add text to the body just like any other email message. I then click Send. I confirm I want to share my calendar, and then I'm done. If I were Nate, here's what I'd see. There's the calendar sharing request. In the Reading pane, click Allow, and then Yes. Back in my mailbox, when Nate responds, I receive a message that lets me know that Nate approved my request to access this calendar. I can now open his calendar in Outlook, just as he can open mine. Nate's calendar appears side by side by default, and I can turn his calendar on or off as I need to. This is great for working with someone inside my company. However, I also need a way to work with outside vendors. This isn't a problem, because there's a quick way to send a snapshot of my calendar to anyone who has an email address. Now my vendors will know when I'm available. In the navigation pane, I click Send a Calendar via Email. I can choose the date range and amount of detail that I want to share. The calendar is attached to a new email message as an Internet Calendar Sharing File, or .ics file. In the message body, there's also a visual representation of my calendar. The attachment allows the recipients who are using Outlook to open the attachment and view my calendar. If someone doesn't have Outlook, that person can see my calendar information in the message body. All I need to do now is enter any recipients in the To box, and then when I click Send, I'm done. There's a third way I can share a copy of my calendar. It will even stay current with any updates I make. Best of all, it's easy and free with the calendar service on Office Online. In the navigation pane, I click Publish My Calendar. I see a similar dialog box as before that gives me control of what and how much information gets shared with other people. I can specify how many days are shared and how much detail others can see about items on my calendar, and I can restrict the access to only the people I want. I click OK when I'm done. That was easy, and now I can let people know I've published my calendar. In the To box, I add who I want to share my calendar with. I can also add a short message. After I click Send, I'm done. Calendar sharing is just another way Outlook 2007 helps me collaborate with people both inside and outside of my organization.